All right, so we are in fact doing Sinner Twin here second, and uh, as such, we will see everybody in robot mode at the end of this video if you want to see all the Terracons together in their robot moves. Uh, where is his? That's cutthroat. I'm looking for his hand. Oh, here it is, right here, right in front of me. So yeah, here is Sinner Twin. Now, now you may be able to switch the gun around or you can plug it into the side. I'll show that off in a second. That's just where I have it stuck. Uh, he does come with the standard power of the papoose uh, prime master carry on uh, hand foot heel piece uh, in the same teal color as the rest of his body uh, as well as his little card here we have nexus center twin whose power is to combine with others to hunt for bigger trouble which uh, i kind of feel was already <laughs> one of center twins powers because uh, he's a combiner but, uh, hey, you know what? I don't write the stuff for Hasbro. Well, here he is in his monster mode. He's got uh, the, his next hinge up and down. He's kind of, like I said, he's kind of a backwards snarl in that, uh, if you imagine this is Snarl's tail coming together and his head down here and the legs in the other direction, uh, that's essentially how he transforms. He's basically a reverse of the star mold. He's got the same shoulder swivel up here. Uh, in his thing, like I said, you, you can turn this gun around and have it face kind of between his heads. Although, like I said, it's neat that they have the hinge and their heads themselves are on ball joints, but they don't, they can't really rotate to the side. It would have been nice to have maybe a little bit more ability to separate these in different directions versus just straight up and down. But there it is. You can also, like I said, that's a port where you can hold the gun. Uh, you can store it here on his, uh, the side of his leg. There's also his uh, combiner port here. You could have it facing out from either either facing forward underneath him or just turn it around and store it underneath his beast mode as well. It's entirely up to you. He's got dual tails, although, again, they're just in one solid fixed pose. And he's got bigger forelimbs than rear limbs. Uh, design choice, but, uh, but yeah. He's got a swivel at the leg and a hinge here. These are just on regular hinges. And we've already showed off the neck. Although you don't want to lift it too up, too far up, because then you just get this big old gap in here, which almost kind of looks like a secondary mouth, but oh, whatever. And then his individual jaws are on hinges. It's a little hard to get a piece of the because uh, his teeth get in the way. There's a gap in his teeth, and there's just enough of a tip on his lower jaw that if you can get it, it's easy to get him to pop out. But it. Uh, the teeth kind of prevent you from getting at that tip. It sits far enough back. But he does have individually opening mouths on both of his heads as well. And transform, we'll go ahead and remove the gun. And uh, the, instead of just flipping up here at the hinge, this whole assembly lifts up. And we'll fold down onto his back. There's a couple little pegs here for pr Prime or Titan Masters to ride. His legs, you want to split them. Bring the tails up and around. I'm pretty sure he has a rotating hinge. Like this should open. Oh, yeah, we get the leg out of the way. That helps if you get the leg out of the way. And then you can open up his panels to the side like that and bring his uh, feet down and around like that. And then you can plug it back in. He does have the, uh, the full weighable port. Although I don't know where it just went. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so the, the fold-down port for to plug in an R, a hand if you want to put him in an arm mode, or you can leave it flipped up uh, for his leg mode. So close those up. Bring the legs down, snap them into place. Bring the arms down. Uh, flip the foot all the way around. It does actually tab into the back here, so bring that all the way around. Then flip out his fists. And then bring, uh, like I said, this, this hinge here you want to rotate up and snap into place so his shoulders come up to a proper robot mode position. Open that up, flip that up, and then he, uh, you come back here and flip his head up from this backpack and then fold this back up into place. Give him his pistol. And here he is in robot mode. Very serene looking robot. Uh, I do like the yellow and teal, uh, but yeah. Blot looks kind of grumpy. I guess Cutthroat looks kind of serene, too. Actually, all of them kind of look... Blot's the only one that looks like he has any sort of emotion. Big yellow goggles. Uh, again, you can put the a Prime Master in here and plug it in if you want to have him 
use the power of Nexus Prime or any of the other Primes. Uh, I don't know what all those powers are. But uh, you can have that attached. He's got the swivel neck here, uh, ball joint at the shoulder, um, a bicep swivel. Let's snap this all the way around. No wrist swivel, does have a waist swivel. Ball joint hips, thigh swivel, and hinge knees. So pretty standard for the uh, Power of the Primes Deluxe class here. As promised uh, in this second of three new Terracon videos, here he is in robot mode. First with all of his Wave 3 casemates. And then as well with Ripper Snapper and Hunger. There's the team all together. So let's put Cutthroat kind of behind Ripper Snapper. Just trying to get them all together in a way where you can see them all and get a good look at them as a group. And that means we just got Cutthroat left uh, in the Terracons. I think they're one of my favorite combiners we've gotten in the last few years, even with the Combiner Wars. Um, I never... I, I have owned Abominus for a brief period, but it was when I was older. I, I, he was not one of my childhood. I think I may have had Sinner Twin as a child. Maybe Ripper Snapper. I don't know. I had Ripper Snapper when I was a kid and none of the others. So, uh, so yeah. But there is Sinner Twin from Wave 3, Power of the Primes. And we'll move along to uh, Cutthroat. 